Hey everybody, it's Nicole and I am back for my 17 week pregnancy vlog. Um, again, I probably say this every week just like everybody else does, but I cannot believe I'm 17 weeks. Just nuts to me. That little noise you hear is Violet playing. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? This is a peek into my life. <laughs> she keeps me going. So, um, some things have changed. I mentioned last week that I was going to um, probably go ahead and X the midwife idea and uh, go ahead and get an OBGYN. I did that. I ended up um, getting an OBGYN that's about an hour away, um, maybe like an hour and a half, I don't know, she's like, it's a hundred miles away from here, but, um, it's not awful, and I called there, I was really nervous, I called yesterday, and I said, okay, like, I need, you know, I need to come in, and blah, 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 hey, hey, So I um there there was no issue. They're gonna get me in right away. I'm going in on Thursday, and actually I found out that I'm gonna be getting an ultrasound. So we will find out what we're having on Thursday. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to do some kind of reveal video. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we're also gonna take the week the weekend. We had already planned this before we knew we were going to go to the, the doctor, but um, I'm going to Salt Lake City this weekend, so it works out, so I can do some shopping for the baby and, you know, getting things ready and at least, like, get ideas. <sighs> so that's fun. Um, no new symptoms this week. Uh, I'd say the same symptoms. Um, the one thing I will say, I take that back, I guess. Um, excuse me. She's biting my pillow. Excuse me. No, no, no. We're not biting the couch cushions. Let's put that on the ground. <sighs> She's crazy. So, um, the um, the one thing that has happened that I noticed just last, oh, last night, sorry, um, is that mm, my hair is falling out. When I had Violet, my hair was all, okay, this is a hot mess, as you can probably tell. But when I had Violet, my hair was bouncy and beautiful and full of life. And, um, or when I was pregnant with her, rather, and after I had her, all my hair fell out. And I was, like, left with what is now, I don't know, I don't think I even have anything that I can even show anymore because they're pretty much grown out. But see these short, shorter pieces down here? Like, this is, like, how it was falling out in chunks like this when I had her. So, um... Well, my hair was falling out like that in the shower last night, and it pretty much freaked me out. And I have to be really honest, I haven't been really good about taking my prenatals, um, because the ones I had made me sick, and every single time I went to the store, I literally forgot to get any. So I went to the store today, um, and I was like, okay, obviously my body is like being diminished of what it needs, and my hair is starting to fall out. I need to like do something. Hey! What are you doing? So I hope that's not too loud. She's playing with like one of her little musical toys. Uh, so anyway, um, so I went to Walmart and I bought um, the Vita Fusion, the gummy ones, and I smelled them. They didn't smell terrible, so I'm praying to God that I can take them. If I cannot chew them and, and take them, then what I'll do is I'll cut them up a little bit and I'll just take them like I would a pill. Um, I'm not real worried about it. They'll dissolve in my stomach and I'll get the nutrients from them. So, um, but I'm very excited. I mean like the main thing right now is like I get to find out what we're having. I'm so excited. And um, it'll just be Violet, Brennan and I and um, obviously we don't have any family here. So we're just going to let everybody know probably at the same time um, with the same reveal 
uh, video. So I'll post one publicly on here, and then I'll probably post one uh, in a private way on uh, my personal Facebook to share with, like, my family and friends that way. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what this little girl does. She's in her toy box. If you want to know about this toy box, the lid is underneath, which is that green stripe. And it's, I don't even know how to describe the material. But it's from uh, Ikea. And it's got, um, I don't know, it folds flat. So, I don't know. It's, but it's a good size. I really like it. It was one of our better buys. I don't know how much it costs at all. I don't remember. But it was Ikea, so it was really cheap. Um... But anyway, enough about that, I guess. This is a pregnancy vlog, right? So, I guess that's it. I mean, this is going to be a short vlog, but I've got some exciting news coming up. One way or the other, we're going to find out. And I swear, if this baby doesn't cooperate, I'm going to do, like, cartwheels and jumping jacks. I'm going to, like, do somersaults. I'll do what i got to do. I'm going to get this baby to cooperate because I need to know what I'm having. I need to shop. <laughs> so that is our update at 17 weeks um and they might also do the anatomy scan when they do the ultrasound um I asked about it basically I scheduled the appointment and then I called back and said hey you know um I I want it I want an ultrasound as well and she said yeah they always perform them for the first uh visit and I was like okay good that's great is it going to be the anatomy scan I'll be 17 weeks and four days. And she's, uh, she said, um, it could be depending on what they can see. Um, you know, sometimes a few weeks makes all the difference. So if they have to go back in later, like in mid twenties, then they, they can do that, but they'll probably try and get it all done at this point. Um, and also I'm going to have to find out about Rogam cause I am O negative. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but I do believe that you get the Rogam shot at 28 weeks and then after the baby's born. And I have had two Rogam shots so far. I had one when I, uh, or, I'm sorry, I had them when I was, one when I was pregnant with Violet and then one after she was born. So that's the update on that. Um, and there's a couple of other tests that I'm, I'm sure they're going to draw my blood and. And I think I'm, like, right around the time now, too, that they'll do the, the, um, oh, someone's going to, like, slap me for this. Because I can't remember the name of it. But it's where they draw your blood, and if, I don't know, something's higher than the other, then, then you can choose to have an amnio. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's where they put a needle into your tummy, and they take some, a little tiny bit of amniotic fluid, and they are checking to see... If your baby has a chance of having Down syndrome, spina bifida, or something like that. You can opt out of those tests. Um, the amnio is definitely not necessary. Um, and the first step to that is having the blood test, which again, I don't know what it's called. I don't remember. But um, even that is optional. Um, now... It's not saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to find out if my kid has an op... op like, is possibly has um, Down syndrome, and so I'm going to have an abortion or something. It's not like that at all. Um, the w I did have the test with Violet, um, came back um, with normal results. Um, but it, I found it very important to have that test because if there was a chance for her to have spina bifida, a vaginal birth may not have been the best option. Um, and so, I mean, there's just things that... If you know what you're going into, I believe that there's, like, you have an easier time dealing with it and preparing. Um, I've spent a lot of my time since I was a young teenager um, working with and um, helping um, the mentally handicapped and people with disabilities. And I belong to a program in Arizona that, that was really heavily um, involved in the youth as far as that was concerned. So, um, I know what kind of challenge it poses to have a child with a disability, um, and I think that being prepared for that makes all the difference, um, and knowing what kind of a birth you're facing, um, and all of that. So, anyway, 
I kind of went off on a tangent, but I, I just wanted to kind of explain um, my reasoning for wanting to have that done. Again, I'm not having the amnio test. Um, as far as right now, I'm just going to go ahead and have the blood drawn. And, um, and it's not a definitive thing. It's not, you know, this test says, you know, out of this many, this is the average and this is where you fall. Basically, that's what it's saying. It's not saying, hey, your baby has this or that or whatever. So, anywho, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my belly before I keep going on and on about this test. Because my belly is the most exciting thing, right? That's where the baby is. You going to show your belly too? Let's see here. Oh, there's Violet's belly. There's Violet's belly. <laughs> Yours looks better than mine. <laughs> so... All right, let's see. I think she showed it. I didn't even realize it. Brandon told me she he watched my vlog because he's not here um, when I film them, you know, two out of three, every three weeks. And so he um, he was like, oh, did you see that Violet showed her belly when you showed yours? I didn't even notice. I had to go back and watch it. So, anywho, I am wearing maternity clothes full on maternity. Excuse me that. Um, and I am wearing a nursing bra. This is just a, um, it's more comfortable for me. This is from Target, I think. Um, I'm pretty well endowed, so I have to wear an extra, extra large. Um, it's not very supportive as far as that's concerned, but it's super comfortable. And I believe it's the bra that I wore um, in the hospital after I had Violet and really easy to nurse in. If you're looking for something cotton, no underwire, something that's just simple and you know, it doesn't necessarily flatter, but it does the job. This would be it. So I think it's that Jillian and J Jill. I have no idea what the brand is called, but anyway, it's like that Target brand. So anyway, on with it. So I'm going to start changing my setup here so you can see better as I get larger. Okay. Here are me and baby. No name, no gender yet are at 17 weeks. Oh, I'm kind of covering the thing. My bad. Um, this is a shirt I got at Target. It has the double ruching on the side, which is freaking awesome. And um, I think it was like four bucks on clearance. So there's that. And there's Violet. She's not interested. So let me show you my belly with the shirt up. I'm wearing the same kind of pants I was wearing last time. I wore pants and it was those motherhood maternity. So same concept. Probably, it might be the same pair. Who knows? There's my Tammy. In all of its lovely glory. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Um... I hope to have an update for y'all on Thursday, maybe Saturday, um, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know when exactly I'll do it, but it'll be up as soon as I can get it done. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.